Welcome back to 20 Minutes or Less. My name is Elliot Morgan. And I'm Elliot Morgan. How <laughs> funny. In Florida, 17-year-old student named Michael Rudy was suffering an asthma attack at school, and even though he had an inhaler, the school nurse refused to let him use it. He started suffering from the asthma attack and said that when he started to pass out, the nurse locked the door. Rather than call 911, the school only called Michael's mom, who hurried straight to the school. Sue Rudy stated, As soon as we opened up the door, we saw my son collapsing against the wall on the floor of the nurse's office while she was standing in the window of the locked door looking down at my son, who was in full-blown asthma attack. And if you're thinking, what? This is impossible. No one could ever lock a practically dying student in a room. As it turns out, the Volusia County School officials are actually supporting the nurse's decision to deny the student his medication. What? That's insane! This can't be true! Hey, you just need to calm down and get all the facts before you make the assessment on the situation. The student's mom never signed a medical release form. Therefore, the student wasn't given his medication. What's that you say? Huh? What? Common sense should take precedence over bureaucratic procedure? Hey, come on. This is America. The school dean found the inhaler in the student's locker, properly packaged with his name on it, but the school took it away because it wasn't properly documented with the school. Michael Rudy said of the whole incident, it's like something out of a horror film. The person just sits there and watches you die. She sat there, looked at me, and she did nothing. The director of student health services explained that parents must sign the medical release form each year, which is what allows students to carry their prescribed drugs. Because the thing about prescribed drugs is, you know, they're kind of still drugs. The fear is that they allow students to take medications based on symptoms they claim to have that a lot of drug abuse will start happening within schools. For example, a student could say they're depressed and they're going to kill themselves if they don't get their antidepressant medication. The school administration would have to take the student's word for it and then boom, students tripping like a mother all through biology. Is that a mitoplasm? But that said, there is a difference between anti-depression medication and anti-dying medication. Plus, obviously, if a student is literally dying, exceptions should be made. Clearly this nurse is afraid of a lawsuit, or maybe she knows the rule book through and through and she's just not going to deviate from it, or maybe she's just a freaking idiot. I don't know. Whatever the case may be, it's my opinion that there's something very, very wrong with the school system that fosters this kind of inexcusable behavior. There's also something to be said for Good Samaritan laws, which would probably protect her if she were to try to help the student despite whatever the rule book says or despite whatever the particular laws are. But you know, whatever. And while a nurse cannot give medication to students without proper procedure, 911 should have been called so that a paramedic could give the necessary medication. And although the crazy, stupid, awful excuse for a human being nurse didn't call 911, the student's mom did. And when they answered, the mom was like, hi, I want to press child endangerment charges for something they did to my son. So why do you think this nurse chose not to give a student his asthma medication? Was she following the rules? Was she crazy? Did she think the student was faking it? Let us know in the comments down below. And while you're down there, it helps us out a lot. If you could possibly click that like button. And if you'd like to see more of our faces, you can always hit the subscribe button. And you can always go to this annotation or sourcefed.com to see our five daily stories or anything else we have ever done. My name is Elliot Morgan. And I'm Lee Newton. She's crazy.